Hello everyone, this is Mar Haddad here again. In lab number seven, I'm going to speak about IBGP split horizon. So we have, as you can see here, five points to do, and all the topics now is going to be about what is the split horizon inside IBGP. So let's now first check what is the scenario before we start doing the points. Here is our network scenario, which is the same as we have done in the previous lab. So all the congregation that we have done on the previous lab, and we have seen that uh, router five is able to ping the network, which is here 1.1.1.0. So this configuration is still there and I didn't make any change. So uh, because we are going to use this lab in order to do the split horizon. But in this lab, I'm going to focus only inside this autonomous system, which is autonomous system two, because we are talking about the IBGP, okay? So I'm going to make the whole check and configuration on router two, router three, and router four. So the idea is following. If we already have now neighborship between router two, router three, router two and router four, and router three and router four, so we have like a full mesh neighborship between IBGP and that's what we have seen that we needed in the previous lab to be able for router 5 to reach the network 1.1.1.0. So the question is, why can't I do IBGP, so I put I means IBGP between router 2 and router 3 and IBGP between router 3 and router 4 and I take out this. So I don't do neighborship between the router 2 and router 4. So I'm going to check why I cannot do that. So we're going to make this to see if it's gonna work and to see still if the networks that we have advertised, because remember we have advertised this network, which is 1.1.1.0 inside BGP. And we have advertised also this network, which is 192.168.45.0 inside BGP. So router five can reach the network 1.1.1.0. So those two networks have been advertised in BGP and um, we have seen that all routers see both networks. Okay, so now I'm gonna disable the peer between router two and router four and we will see what will happen in this case. So this is what I'm going to do in this lab. Let's go now to the points. Point number one, remove BGP neighborship between router two and router four on both routers. So we have to go to router two and disable the peer to router four and we go to router four and we disable the peer to router two. I will just put here the picture so you can also follow what I'm doing. So we go to router two and from router two, I will go to routing BGP, we go to peers and this is the peer with router four. I will disable it. I will not delete it completely. Let me just disable it. And then I will go to router four and I will go to routing BGP and this is the peer with router two and I will disable it. So now what we have, we have now the neighborship, which is between router two and router four on BGP, it's disabled. Of course, here is still enabled. So here there is still IBGP neighborship and here there is still IBGP neighborship. Okay, point number one is done. Point number two, go to router three and check its routing table. Do you see an entry for BGP networks that were advertised. And again, remember the entries that we have advertised inside BGP are 1.1.1.0 and 192.168.45.0. So let's go to router three first. And we look, I go to IP routes and we see that 1.1.1.0 is still there. So router three is learning this from router two and 192.168.45.0 is there and also it is learning that from router 4. So those two networks are on router 3. Then now we have to see if router 2 and router 4 can also see those two networks after we have disabled the peer between router 2 and router 4. Port number 2 is done and we have seen that the both networks are shown on router 3. Now go to router 2 and check the routing table. What do you see? I go to router 2 now. And uh, from here I'll go to IP routes. And from router 2 I can see that 1.1.1.0 is there because it is coming from router 1 actually. And uh, But we don't see 192.168.45.0. I don't see that. Even, even though that router 3 has it. So the um, if we go here to the graph, I'll put here router three 
has 1.1.1.0 slash 24 and has 192.168.45.0 on its routing table. Now we checked on router 2, we have seen that he has only 1.1.1.0 slash 24. Let's check now on router 4. So I'll go to router 4 now. And uh, from here I go to IP routes. And I see that, okay, he has, because it's connected to him, 192.168.45.0, but he doesn't know anything about 1.1.1.0. So it's not shown for him. So I'll go here again and I'll say, okay, he knows about 192.168.45.0 slash 24. Okay, so what is missing here, that is, there is this network missing, which is 192.168.45.0. And on router 4, it is missing 1.1.1.0. That's missing. So those are the missing networks that uh, we don't see them on the routing table of router 2 and on router 4 but the question can say but how come because router 3 has it so router 3 has both networks and they fall neighborship with router 3 so why don't router 3 give the network which is 192.168.45.0 to router 2 and also he give the network of 1.1.1.0 to router 4 which is missing so why can't router 3 do that? Okay, and now I will explain why he cannot do that. But let's go first to the points to check what we are doing. So point number three, we checked that router 2 doesn't know about 192.168.45.0 and we checked on router 4 that he doesn't know about 1.1.1.0.24. Now explain the reason why router 2 and router 4 don't see both advertised prefixes in the routing table. So I need to explain now why this happened. So I said that here he has both networks. So why doesn't he advertise the missing network to here and the missing network to here? Because they have IBGP neighborship between uh, the uh, router two and router three and router four and router three. So the reason why this doesn't happen is because of what we call the split horizon. So IBGP split horizon, and that's on IBGP. So what does it mean in the split horizon? The split horizon on IBGP means that in case router 2 advertise a network to router 3, and in this case it is 1.1.1.0, he advertises to router 3, then router 3, because of split horizon, is not able to advertise the prefix that it is on BGP to router 4. So the 1.1.1.0 slash 24, is not advertised to router 4 and that's because of split horizon so the question is why can't he do that because to avoid the loop because when you have ibgp we are working inside the same autonomous system so the router 2 imagine we have a bigger network in ibgp and then you have for example a router here and then a router here and then this router comes to here so imagine that the network of 1.1.1.0 is being advertised to from uh, each neighbor. So this is advertised to here and this is advertised to here. And then this is, is also again advertised to router 2, which is the router which has initially advertised 1.1.1.0. Then in this case, we have a loop. And um, in the EPGP, there is a mechanism called AS path that says that if I receive the same autonomous system to me again, so a route a prefix having the same autonomous system as my autonomous system, I will refuse it. Okay, so I, I can make a small draw here. So imagine on eBGP you have this router, it is inside an autonomous system, and then another router, and then another router inside another autonomous system, and then another router inside another autonomous system, and this one. So imagine there is like eBGP, and then this has advertised a network here. Then it comes to here. It says that this network is on autonomous system, for example, one. And then it goes here, it goes here, it goes here. In case it comes back to him, and then he see that the autonomous system one is coming from this prefix, then he will not accept it. He will refuse it because that's what we call it the AS path. Okay. 
while on IBGP it's not possible because all the work is happening inside the same autonomous system, which is autonomous system number two. That's why we need a solution to not allow the loop to happen, and that's what we call loop prevention, and this happened with the split horizon. So the split horizon say that a neighbor cannot advertise to his neighbor a prefix, and that's why we always require to have what we call the full mesh neighborship inside BGP. So in this case, we have to also make the neighborship between router 2 and router 4. Then we have a full mesh neighborship between all routers inside IBGP. I just want to clean a little bit here the picture. So in this case, we have three routers inside the IBGP and the formula of to know when we want to make the full mesh neighborship between the routers, it is X times so that's x uh, minus 1 over 2, okay? And x means number of routers. So in this case, we have three routers inside IBG, IBGP. That means we have 3, 3 minus 1 is 2, so 3 times 2 divided by 2. 3 times 2, it is 6 divided by 2, that's 3. Okay, so we have to make three neighborship. And in this case, we've seen that we have to make neighborship here. So that's 1, and that's 2, and that's 3. Now, we have three routers inside IBGP that's possible that we make neighborship. But if, what if we have, for example, 10? So in this case, it is 10 times uh, 9 because that's 10 minus 1 is 9. So it's 90. 90 divided by 2, that's 45 neighborship. So we have to configure 45 neighborship on, inside our uh, IBGP. And that's a lot of work to do. So the question can, can come here that, okay, are, are, there, are there other solution? Then in this case, I can say, yes, there is other solution, what we call the BGP route reflector and the BGP confederation. And that's some topics that we will see it later. But just for now to understand that when you have IBGP, you always, always have to have full mesh neighborship in order for the all prefixes that has been advertised will reach to the other peers. So now if I go back to router 4 and to router 2, so... On, um, we've seen that router 2 doesn't see 192.168.45.0 and the other one doesn't see 1.1.1.0. So I'll go to router 2 now and I will form again the neighborship. So I'll go to routing, BGP, and then I will form with router 4. And then I will go to router 4 and I'll make routing, BGP, I'll form it with router 2. And now if we go inside router 4, and we see, if we go to IP routes, you can see that now router 4 knows 1.1.1.0 and he knows 192.168.45.0. And we go to router 2. That's router 2. We go to IP routes. So we see 1.1.1.0 and he see 192.168.45.0. So point number five is done, and I have explained the reason why router two and router four don't see both advertised prefixes in the routing table. And that's because of the IBGP split horizon, which doesn't allow the networks or the prefixes to be advertised from one neighbor to another inside the IBGP to avoid to have a loop, okay? So this is what I wanted to show you in this lab. This is a very important topic also, IBGP Split Horizon. I hope that you enjoyed this lab and I will see you in the upcoming lecture.